So I want to show you the difference between a good tub and a really bad tub and something I've learned really the hard way in this project and that is not to use a cheap <laughs> crappy tub. So we've got two tubs here. They kind of look similar. They're both acrylic. Um, I do like using acrylic. I think they make a lot of sense. They're easy to clean uh, and they're lightweight so it's easy for you to install and then on top of that um, you know, it just has all the different features. There's so many different brands out there and it is a little less expensive than say a cast iron tub. Well, I shouldn't say less expensive, but it's just, you have more options when it comes to acrylic. And again, the bit, the best thing about acrylic is of all the different styles and then the ease of cleaning it. So that's really why people love them. That's why I install them. It's just a matter of finding the right tub that is actually a decent quality. So <clears throat> this was what we installed upstairs four years ago. And this is called, uh, it's a Delta tub. And as you can see, it has a, a neat little design. That was kind of the reason that the homeowner even checked this out. They, they liked that this had this little detail on it, just kind of made something a little bit unique. Uh, but when you look at the surface of it, it doesn't look like anything different than another tub. It all looks the same kind of. It has a deep soaker. It's like 19 inches deep. It has a nice smooth surface, has a little bit of a, a rough texture at the bottom for slip resistance. So at first glance, looks perfectly normal, looks like a tub that you can count on. And with a name like Delta, you know, it's giving you kind of insurance that maybe it's, it's a decent quality. But when you look at this a little bit more closely, you know, on the, the actual installation of this thing, you'll notice how flimsy this is. Now, you just saw me tear out the existing tub and I could almost just kick through the, the skirt plate and break it. Very, very simple. I mean, it's only like a, maybe a quarter inch, three sixteenths inch thick, very flimsy. The rim, the entire flange is all flimsy. They do come with a bracket that helps hold this out. So, you know, if you were to install one of these, definitely make sure you install the bracket. Um, and then what I really think is a problem not necessarily for embedding it into mortar. This, this actual grate is great for that. It actually does its job very well, but it's separate from the actual tub. So this is kind of like a sleeve mechanism that goes over it. And what the major critical issue is, is between the actual drain flange and the bottom cover you can consider it. I guess you would consider this like the, the mortar bed um, embedding uh, flange, I guess you could call it, but they're separate. So there's a little bit of flexibility right in between the drain and this bottom uh, support area. And if you tighten your drain too tight, you'll crack it very easily. And just the fact that it's that thin, I think is, is really problematic, which is why I'm, I'm replacing it. So, um, you know, the durability of this is just not there. Uh, now, you know, if I, if I would have, wouldn't have cracked the actual drain piece, would have this lasted? I mean, probably, I guess. But, you know, being this flimsy, it doesn't really take much to scratch it. It doesn't take much to crack it. And I just would never, ever install one of these things again. Uh, so when you take a look at a good tub, so this is uh, a jacuzzi tub. So a jacuzzi does make tubs that are not always having jets. They do make soaker tubs. So this has, you know, the same deepness, 19 inches, has a nice, uh, basically textured bottom, acrylic. Uh, but you could see right off the bat with the flange that it is, uh, you know, it has a really thick reinforced. So the reinforcement of all this fiberglass is what makes this much more sound. This is a really thick flange here. It's probably a good quarter inch to five sixteenths of fiberglass. Everything's reinforced. You've got plywood reinforcement here. You even have these little support bars holding this together. Um, you know, everything about it is very, very durable. I mean, you know, the flange doesn't move around. Now, granted, this, this, this out coating here is the same thickness as the Delta, but just the fact that it's all supported well and you have this fiberglass mesh makes this a much, much better tub. So even my 10 year old son came in here. I asked him right off the bat, which one is the better tub? And all he did was knock on the two uh, uh, rims 
and you can tell that this was the cheaper tub and that that was a much better tub. So, uh, yeah, it really is night and day and you're basically double the cost. So there is a cost value to it. Uh, right now at this day and age, 2023, this was basically a $265 tub and this was like a $700 tub. So, but for all the pain that I'm going through, absolutely 100% worth spending the extra money on a good tub. I'd rather almost like spend a little bit less money on the tile design and save money that way in some aspect than to have the problems that I had with this.